In our human genome, there are about three uh, billion pairs of DNAs. There are um, about 10 million of them could be different, so that is one in every 300 uh, DNA pairs. And some of those, um, uh, we call them single nucleotide polymorphism, or in short, SNP, um, can be related with uh, disease such as cancer. It has been reported that one of the SNP is not only uh, related with increased risk of getting prostate cancer, but also getting a more aggressive type of prostate cancer. And, but um, people don't really know why, and this is um, in this study uh, what we have been focusing on. So in our study, we use various big data and also experimental validation with molecular biology techniques. And what we find is that in prostate cancer, the SNP can turn on the expression of a bad non-coding RNA, which is a gene that does not code for any proteins. And at the same time, it can shut off a good non-coding RNA. But what's important from our study is that when we combine the information on the SNP as well as the non-coding RNA, what we can find is that we can better uh, tell us whether the patient is less or more likely to relapse to treatment. Um, so we're hoping in the future we can move this finding into um, uh, clinics for uh, precision medicine. Um, so when a patient comes in, the doctor can decide based on the patient's uh, SNP status and whether the bad gene being turned on. So that means the patients will very likely develop relapse to uh, local treatment. And on the other hand, if the patient do not have the risk of the SNP and the bad gene has not been turned on, so the um, likelihood of that patient to develop relapse is low. So the doctor may decide to put the patient on watch and so uh, can um, avoid over-treatment. I'm Dr. Ho-Sheng Hansen He, a senior scientist from Princess Margaret Cancer Center. I'm Tony Hua. I'm a PhD student in Dr. He's lab working on cancer epigenetics, and I'm the first author on the study.